Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I'm not as bubbly or whatever as usual in this video. I think I'm getting sick or it might be the fucking hangover is setting in. I don't, it's one of those things. I, I don't have a lot of energy today, but also look guys, I'm home. I'm in my house. Oh my goodness. I was able to have a beer for the first time last night in like six weeks. I am so excited. It's a White Claw fall. <laughs> And yeah, so again, sorry if I'm a little less bubbly than usual or whatever, or if my voice sounds weird, I don't know. I think, I think I am getting sick. It happens, right? It's tis the season. Um, also, there is so much dry shampoo in my hair right now. I don't, I love dry shampoo. It's the best. You want to know the best brand of dry shampoo? Nothing nail related. But I love this dry shampoo. If you've never used this brand or if you've like, it smells so good too. Reminds me of my mom because she is the one that introduced me to it. But if you've never used dry shampoo and you're like, what is that about? Just try this one. This is literally the best. Um, I spray so much of this in my hair. It's crazy. In this week's video, I'm going to show you my must-have tools, the things that I use every manicure, everything that I use from prep all the way. I have a couple of honorable mentions to my cuticle and skincare afterwards, just all of the things and all of the stuff that I use. So it's a little bit of a different video this week. I hope you enjoy it and yeah let's get into it so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove your dip powder that you already have on and this is my favorite the onyx soak off the blue kind i really like i find that it's less drying than the white kind but it works just as well it's got coconut oil in it i really like this stuff you can get it literally everywhere you can get it at sally beauty supply you can get it at target you can get it at walmart you can get it everywhere i'm going to link everything that i'm going to go over today in the description below so you'll know where to get all of this stuff. Whether you can get it at the store, or you can get it online, or whatever. So after I remove, the next thing that I would do is I would put on cuticle remover to remove the cuticle and the invisible cuticle on your nail bed. And my favorite cuticle remover is from Diplomatic, the take it off cuticle remover. I love this stuff, it's great. It works so good, like so good. And then once you put cuticle remover on, you're going to need a cuticle pusher. And I used to use a cuticle pusher that uh, was Revlon brand that I got from Target. And it worked okay, but it did not work very well. You want to make sure your cuticle pusher is sharp. So I just got this one off of Amazon. Um, it's pretty sharp. It was like super high rated on Amazon to just so it gets that cuticle right off um and then after you've removed your cuticle you're gonna need to get all of the debris and everything off so I definitely recommend washing your hands I like to wash my hands with Dawn soap because it eats all of the grease and gets it off of there and so it helps your um dip powder stick better but also while I'm washing my hands I like to scrub my cuticle line just to you know, make sure that I get any of like little flakes that might still be on there off. So I definitely recommend getting one of these um, nail brushes. So that's all of my prep things that I would use. And so the next you're gonna do dipping. And as far as dipping, obviously you're gonna need liquids and um, you're gonna need a base and an activator. I use triple vitamin most of the time. Um, but I also have used the starter kit that you get from Sally. I really liked that. I really like Dipalicious liquids. I I like a lot of liquids, let's be honest. I've heard that Sparkle & Co's liquids are really good. I've heard that IL-21 liquids are really good. If you stay tuned to my channel, I will be doing reviews on those brands very soon. The next thing that you need that I would recommend you having for dipping is always toothpick. They are the best for just cleaning up your cuticle line after you dip. They're so small that you can get right there along your cuticle line because the worst thing is getting finishing your mani and having it look like it's already a few days grown out or you know getting your dip powder on your cuticles and then they lift in a few days. It's the worst. And once you're dipped and you do your cuticle you're gonna need to brush off your dip powder. I recommend using a kabuki brush. I use this one. It's pretty torn up because I've been using it for like two years. Um, I got it off Amazon also. I will link that down below, but any kabuki brush really works. Just a big fluffy brush is the best. I use this brush. It's a 
eye blending brush by elf i got it at walmart it was like three dollars it is the best for ombreing because the tip is like really small they do have bigger fluffier brushes that i know um will also work but i prefer this one especially with glitters because i can go real slow so that it doesn't get too much <laughs> and i just pick up a little bit and if you've seen my videos you know that so yeah this brush from elf i really like the holy grail of clear powders. I love, and I know there are a lot of good clear powders, but I really like this one. It's big, it's like four ounces, I think. Yeah, four ounces off of Amazon. I think it was like $12, um, which is great. And it's super clear. I do two dips of it all the time, and it's always super clear, so I love this. All right, and the next category would be buffing. I always recommend using a mask so that you're not breathing in the particles. Even if you don't get the dip flu, you don't wanna be breathing in all of the, I don't know about y'all, but I like buff and file right, like right up to my face because I wanna see exactly what I'm doing. I'm kind of crazy OCD, so I always wear a mask so that I can make sure that I'm not breathing in the particles because it does, I feel like this really helps also with my lungs not hurting the next day. So next you will be filing, right? This is, I get this, it's Beauty Secrets. I get them at Sally Beauty Supply. I love these, they're perfect. It's the 100, 180 and it's uh, perfect for shaping. And also I buff the top of my nail with the less coarse side um, before I buff and I buff with Polar blocks. I love polar blocks. I buy like three packs of these at a time because I love them. Um, I usually use one polar block for two, maybe three manis, and you honestly, you could probably get more out of them than that, but I like mine to be real sharp. I like my edge to be sharp so that I can get around my cuticle line really well with them. It helps to buff off any like cute dead skin you have in your cuticle too because I don't trim my cuticles. I know some people do. I don't because I find that I get hangnails really bad when I trim my cuticles and I my cuticles have been so much more healthy. Not going to the salon and getting my cuticles trimmed has really helped that. Well, not going to the salon has helped a lot of things with my nail health. So anyways, I love the Polar Blocks. They're the best. You can get them at Sally. Um, I think you can get them off Amazon, but I'm not sure if they're this specific brand. I think it's like a knockoff Polar Block and... You can just order them from Sally Beauty Supply. And then we move on to Topco. My holy grail of Topco. I love Triple Vitamins Topco, the green one. If you use any other liquids, I totally understand. There are a lot of really great liquids out there. There's liquids that give people um, the dip flu and then there's ones that don't. So whatever works for you, but I do recommend using Triple Vitamins Topco. You can interchange any of the liquids. I have like three different brand spaces and like three different activators, but I always use triple vitamins top coat. I have not found anything yet and I'm, there might be something out there. I don't know. I'm open to finding new things, but so far triple vitamin. And for a matte top coat, my favorite matte top coat that I've found so far is this one that I just got at a Target. It's Revlon brand. You just get it, you know, in the makeup section um, where their other nail polishes are. I love this top coat. It's great. It's matte and it doesn't peel off. I've had it on my nails and they're still matte and it hasn't peeled off or anything. And I've had these on, I think for three days. <laughs> so not very long, but it's staying strong. Also an essential item that I love for my top coat and Carol, this is because of you, sweetie. I saw this in one of your videos and I immediately rushed to buy them. So thank you, Carol, for that. Um, Cause they have changed my top coat game these born pretty lint free wipes are awesome and i used to use a paper towel to wipe off the activator but i would always get like little lints little fuzzies in there and my top coat was never like smooth very very smooth with these they're always super smooth and i love it and i can brush my brush off on it and my brush doesn't get like chunky or any like lint on it so gotta have those and then after you've done your top coat and it's dried you're gonna want to you know nourish your cuticles and i love cuticle candy and the scents are oh she makes such good scents they're so good this one's rise and shiny mm, 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 mm. 
So you can get them in a pen. I go through a pen in about a month. I'm probably not as crazy about putting on my cuticle oil every five minutes as some people are, but I do use my cuticle oil maybe once a day. And it lasts me a month for a pen, just about. I usually take one with me out on the road. Well, I usually have a backup too, but I usually go through one pen while I'm out on the road. And I'm usually out on the road from five to six weeks at a time. So it lasts me that amount of time. I also have, because I am the type of person that like, I don't ever wanna like not have something <laughs> that I really loved that they might not make anymore. And so I also buy the one ounce from Cuticle Candy, which I love that she does that too. And I have Steamy Nights and Beam Me Up Scotty. They're like, oh, I love these. These flavors are so good for fall. I love them. Um, and I have just a couple of like honorable mention items that are not maybe necessarily important for you to have in order to do your manicure, but they're things that I really enjoy having. The first thing that I really enjoy having is a dotting tool. I find it to be really helpful with, um, doing designs. I did um, some camo nails a while back and I used my dotting tool to just put the little base wherever I wanted before I poured my powder on. And I know that you can also use it with like gel polish to like paint things and dotting tools are great. You can also pick up glitter, glitter with them and place them. I usually use a toothpick because I always have one there, but dotting tools, yes. Also speaking of chunky glitters and placing them, needle tipped tweezers are really helpful, especially when you're doing things with like the iridescent flakes that I did my pride nails with. They were really helpful to have some, I have another pair, but they got base all over them, so I threw them away. So I have a new pair and I haven't used them yet. But yeah, any needle nose tweezers will do. Also, I love this thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this from like my first video, but when my, I just haven't had any low jars because when they get low, I usually use them for swatches and I don't have them on the road with me, but I love this thing. It's so cool. You can just put it in there. It just sits on your table and then it's easier to get to the bottom of the jar. Um, cool little stand. They're perfect. And last but not least, um, my label maker. I get questions all the time about my labels and I use this label maker and get it at Walmart. I think it was only like $14. It was like super cheap, I think. And you can get the replacements off Amazon. You probably could get even the label maker off Amazon, but this is the one I use. I do have to cut down the labels on my swatches. It doesn't really bother me. I, of course I would love to have a label maker that the label is the right width for the swatch, but is it that big of a deal? Not for me. So, um, yeah. So that's my last thing. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, I know this was like a really, like a different style video for me and I didn't do any nail stuff, but I do think that it's important to know which tools that you should be using is just as important as your technique. Um, cause if you're not using the right tools for the job, then it just makes it harder for you and take longer for you. And you know, the job may not get done as well. So these are the things that I use. Of course, these, are not gonna be the tools that everybody uses or you may think that you don't need or you do need some other things and that's perfectly fine too, whatever works for you. Um, but these are just the things that work for me. So I hope you try some of them out. I hope they're really helpful to you and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see more of these kind of videos, you know, me, I, I don't know, any, any, any kind of video, what do you, what do you guys wanna see? I'm totally open to doing whatever you guys want to see. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye. Oh, I left my drink downstairs. <laughs>